In this video, we're going to look at one of the compression techniques you need to know about for the GCSE exam, run length encoding. So Huffman coding that we looked at in the previous video is typically used to compress text-based data, whereas run length encoding that we're talking about here is typically used to compress bitmap images. We're going to start with a simple black and white bitmap image shown on the screen here. Now, as we know from a previous video, with just two colours, we can encode this image with a colour depth of one bit. In other words, we can use a single bit to represent each pixel, zero for white and one for black. If I simply write that out then in the same order as the pixels from the bitmap, you can see here I have a sequence of 100 zeros and ones. So that's 100 bits of information I have to store. But you will have noticed there are lots of contiguous sections of white pixels and black pixels. So what I actually have here is 22 white pixels followed by six black pixels followed by eight white pixels, followed by one black pixel, and so on and so forth. We can translate that one step further into what are known as frequency data pairs. So we have the number 22 and the number zero. 22 tells us how many pixels we're gonna have, and the next number zero tells us what colour. So 22 zeros is 22 whites. 6 one is then 6 blacks. So as well as encoding a simple bitmap image into frequency data pairs, you should be able to recreate a simple bitmap image if you're provided with a set of frequency data pairs. So here on the left we have a sequence of numbers. and On the right we have a blank grid. So if we take that one step further, we end up with 23 white, followed by four black, six white, and so on and so forth. Now, of course, we are making an assumption here that the image uses just black and white pixels, and that zero is representing white, and one is representing black. In the exam, you would be told any assumptions like this. It now becomes a simple matter of following those frequency data pairs. So drawing out 24 white pixels from left to right, followed by four black, and so on and so forth. Of course, if we were to encode this original bitmap image, it would take up 100 bits, one for every pixel. So you can see here how we can get a substantial saving, especially with larger images, if we use frequency data pairs.